hey guys welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial i'll be uh, showing how to do uh, auxiliary view inside solidworks drawing so before i do the drawing part i have a simple part over here inside solidworks and you can see it's a tip tabbed hole on the face and some uh, slots on its top face all right so this is our front view and it's a simple part right so let's start with the drawing i'll go to file make drawing from part you can select your standard sheet size or you can uh, you can use your own sheet i'll use the standard sheet from here press ok uh, now we are in solidworks drawing so i can basically use any of the options to get the views like the standard tree view or the model view but i'll utilize the view palette so over here on the right we'll have a view palette and from here we'll have all the different uh, standard views so let's drag in the front view as i do that and i hover my mouse you can see all the other views are uh, giving me a prompt to uh, let's say select the other views no i don't want it so i'll just press the green tick and uh, we can see there is some holes on the face um, and uh, to do the auxiliary view you can select uh, auxiliary view from the view layout or you can go to insert drawing views and select auxiliary view from here now it says please select a reference edge to continue okay so first thing why we need auxiliary view so the standard views as you can see gives us pretty much the simple views of your drawing but uh, let's say when you are giving it for manufacturing the manufacturer needs the uh, some some more detailing on the part so the auxiliary view comes into play in that scenario so just like the projected view we can utilize the auxiliary view and uh, it works in a sim similar fashion but it basically creates an unfolded view of uh, whatever view you are taking so most likely auxiliary view will be uh, is done on a slanted face just like this uh, to enhance the drawing and make an unfolded view of that face so what i mean is uh, if i go to auxiliary view it will so ask me to select any of the edge selecting this uh, horizontal or vertical edges is of no use so let's select this slanted right edge and as i do that it gives me an unfolded view of that face so you can see it's i'll click it over here and it's uh, saying view a and we have an arrow uh, representing what face we have taken so it's basically the unfolded view of that face now you can do the pretty much basic things that we have in drawing view over here we can change the display style and change the scale we can do dimension type right so i'll press the green tick for now now one thing that we can uh, do to modify this view is we can change this arrow so to change this you can go to tools go to option and from here go to document properties and come to views and inside auxiliary make sure your base auxiliary view standard is ANSI and press ok once you do that you'll get this double arrow kind of thing which is uh, uh, which is more uh, useful when representing the auxiliary view so it represents what kind of face or slanted uh, edge you are taken for that auxiliary view All right now we can also uh, rotate this so we can uh, make it horizontal or vertical it's up to you whatever rotation you want but let's say i want to rotate it vertically and make it look more organized so i'll go to right click over here zoom pan rotate and go for rotate view now one thing that you have to uh, make sure is you know how much this angle is so while designing i knew that this angle is 110 so i need a 20 degree rotation because 90 plus 20 is 110 
so let's go for a 20 degree rotation go for apply okay so it goes the other way around so i'll go for a minus 20 in that case and apply now this is what i wanted um, when i mean rotating the view so you can also see we have the symbols which says view aa with the clockwise rotation of 20 degree so that's how you can uh, pretty much detail your auxiliary view inside solidworks drawing i hope you guys like it and if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below i'll be answering all your queries see you in the next tutorial peace out